In this video, I am going to continue to look at uh, examples of pronunciation of consonants that are particularly difficult for learners. And I'm going to look at the sounds of P, T, and C, also K, of course. And these unvoiced stop consonants are different from voiced stop consonants because they also have what we call an extra puff of air in the pronunciation. As you make the sound, there is this what we call extra puff of air. Now you can test this by saying the letter P while holding a piece of paper in front of your mouth. When you say P, the paper will move. It moves because of the air moving. Practice adding the puff of air to these examples. I will first say the word without the puff of air. And the second word, I will add the puff of air. Number one. Oo. Two. Number two. Two, e, t. Number three, i, pi. Number four, a, pay. Number five, old, cold. Number six, ow, cow. So the unvoiced stop sounds p, t and k have an extra puff of air a at the beginning of the word and b before a clear vowel however there isn't a puff of air when the vowel is preceded by an s sound now i'm going to say a dialogue with many examples of puff of air uh, in it so you will hear these uh, sounds, these unvoiced stop consonant, consonant sounds. Okay, that's uh, in this conversation, there are uh, three people. And I will describe them as person A, person B, and person C. Let's start. Person A, passwords please. Person B. I can't remember where. Person C. What did you do with it? B. Uh, perhaps I put it in my jacket. In my pocket. C. It's typical. I tried to tell you. B. Goodness, I remember. I got it out when we were coming to Gatwick Airport in the car and I gave uh, it to you C to me B perhaps you put it in your big black bag C but I put that on the plane when we checked in B O okay I hope this uh, short video has helped you understand more about the use of puff of air.